Hey guys, so today I want to make a quick browser comparison video here. It's going to be my Galaxy S3 running Android 4.0 Jelly Bean this time versus my new Apple iPhone 5. The reason why I'm not using my Galaxy S3 with Android 4.1 Jelly Bean is first off, you know, the, the, the update ain't like official or I mean like it's not really out. Um, you know, in my country, but I did flash the Poland version, but it seems to have some Wi-Fi problems with it right now. Uh, but the real one should come out, you know, I mean, maybe like a week from now to my phone here. Uh, so I'm just going to use Android phone window Jelly Bean, the stock experience here versus Apple iPhone 5 and the latest official iOS 6. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up Safari here and then I'm going to go ahead and open up the internet browser here. Ooh, that's pretty interesting. Let's see, I'm just gonna go ahead and close out uh, or close the tabs here. And one thing I can tell you right now already is that I hate uh, the tab system on both my two devices here. Uh, it is horrible. It's horrible on iOS 6 and it's also horrible on my Samsung phone. It's best on like the Android stock experience uh, because I'm gonna show it to you maybe. Okay, there we go. So we are blank here on both, um, and I haven't edited settings or anything on both these two devices, so I just wanna do the stock experience here. So let's go ahead and go to like a website like uh, Google, google.com, Google. Ooh, I said for iPhone porn, it's pretty weird. <laughs> Google.com, okay, go. Ah, uh, I hate you. Okay, so we didn't get a proper search here. This one redirected me, both redirected me to Google.se, okay, good. So let's go ahead and search for. Um, let's go ahead and search for. in gadgets. Go up here, type in in gadget, and then I'm just gonna go go on both at the same time. Let's go. Okay, as we can see, the iPhone 5 was quicker there actually. Uh, when we go ahead and type on in gadget, hmm, that's kind of the same, I think. Uh, get the free iPhone app, get the free Android app. What? Okay, wait, continue to Engadget.com. Oh no. Both redirected me to the mobile website. Let's go ahead and tap on the article over here. Hmm, let's see, both loading. There we go, it's finished. Finished a little bit quicker on the Apple iPhone 5. Even though I would say that we should go back and go to Mo or the whole desktop version of the website. I usually prefer that, especially when I have a big device. Uh, let's go down, let's hit desktop. Oh no. How can I miss it on this device? Pretty interesting. Both loading. There we go, it's finished there, even though I did tap on that earlier. Uh, but if you go down here to an article, let's say we go ahead and go down to this one over here. Let's go ahead and tap on it. Let's see, both loading. There we go, it's finished here on the Apple iPhone. So I mean, a little bit quicker. I mean, I can see that every time we're loading something, it seems to be around one to two seconds faster and quicker. Uh, but uh, then we should also remember, this is under 4.0 Jelly Bean. 4.1 Jelly Bean should also be like way quicker. When we talk about the experience going up and down, uh, one thing that's kind of cool, like if you want to scroll down a long way, it's easier on Android, you do one e e easily like that. Uh, on this one, I have to do it a little bit more. Uh, I don't think it's a big thing though, uh, but when we go in and out, as you can see, it seems to be actually, it seems like they improved the browsing experience a lot since iPhone 4S and iPhone 5. I remember when I was doing this on the iPhone 4S, it was like kind of laggy and stuff. Maybe that was just because I was on YouTube. And of course we have this bar down here uh, in iOS 6. I hate it because then we get less browsing experience. Um, 
So let's see here if we go ahead and go up again. I mean like if we want to go up immediately, it's very easy on Android, use the one like that. Here we have to do it a little bit more, could be a little bit annoying. Let's go ahead and tap on Nokia Lumia. There we go, it's loading above. There we go, it's finished on the iPhone. So it is around, um, um, what I can usually see here is around 2 to 3 seconds faster, uh, iOS 6 uh, versus uh, Android 4.0. As you can see, I said for iPhone porn here earlier, it's pretty sweet. Uh, if you go ahead and tap in, hmm, let's see here. If you go ahead and go back, let's go back to Google. Seems like it's taking a little longer there also to go back. And uh, let's go ahead and go to GSM Arena. Or let's let's try let's try voice. Let's try the voice feature on both. Wait a sec, don't we have that? I mean like I do know we have Google now, but of course we can use the voice feature here on the app iPhone. And uh, in our Android 4.1 Jelly Bean, that's not well like like right, like right now here we can't use the voice, but if I use tap here. GSM Arena. Okay, almost, almost. Wait a sec. If you do it again. GSM Arena. Okay, there we go. Pretty sweet. Uh, I can't do that on Android right now. Uh, I have to use like Google Now, and Google Now is not available. Uh, so I swear that's, that's a good thing there with iOS. GSM Arena. Okay, let's go ahead and do a search. There we go. Finished on both. So we can see over here, both loading, both loading. Okay, there we go. Fine. It, it got finished earlier here now on the Android device. Uh, even though this is actually a little bit annoying for me. Like I have to do it many times when I can just do one simple. Uh, maybe you can. Maybe you can um, uh, fix that. Maybe you can fix that when you are in iOS 6, I'm not sure. I'm just going to go down to the desktop version. And this website seems to actually be loading quicker, yeah. Seems to be loading quicker here uh, on the Galaxy S3. And as, I, as, as you've heard, it is Android 4.0 also, so Jelly Bean should be quicker also, uh, you know, in the browsing experience and things like that. Even though they're loading some different ads here, um, but you know, let's go ahead and go down, go in. Let's go ahead and tap on an article. Hmm, it's kind of the same like when you're going in and out on both. Uh, even though I'm, I'm not really not sure, like. If I can feel that one is quicker than the other one, I mean, like both are extremely good. Let's go ahead and tap here. And I mean, of course, this is. There we go. Uh, Apple loaded quicker over here again. Uh, of course, I'm on an Android website right now, so maybe I should go to like Mac Rumors also and try it out to see. Even though it feels like the iPhone 5 is a little quicker than the Galaxy S3 running on Android 4.0. Uh, I'm probably going to do an Android 4.1 Jelly Bean test also, when I get official boy. Because, you know, it's awesome. Let's go ahead and go to, like, Mac Rumors. Wait a second, yeah, let's go to Mac Rumors. Hmm, let's see here. Oops. And I'm connected to my home Wi Fi, also, if you are wondering. There we go. Let's go ahead and tap. Oh! Okay, I fell. Both are loading. There we go. Let's go ahead and tap on Mac.
I gotta say that uh, the iPhone 5 is probably the winner here in the browser test. It is actually a little quicker, it feels like, than the Galaxy S3 here. Uh, but then you should also know that I'm not running the latest version of Android over here, but I'm running the latest version of iOS. Uh, but if I get out, get the, when I get like the 4.1 Jelly Bean for my boy, like uh, for the Jelly Bean that should be available for my country, and then I'm probably gonna do another test, and uh, that would be interesting. But right now, I gotta say that the iPhone is the winner, even though myself, in browser speed test, the iPhone seems to be the winner over here. Uh, but uh, when t in, t in terms of you know, uh, you know, screen, you know, the bigger screen you get, and the better, like. For me, that's, that's more important, the better experience than those two to three seconds. If Apple would release like a five inch uh, iPhone, that would be extremely interesting because I'm really, really horny uh, in big displays. Uh, so yeah, you can leave your comments down below, but yeah, just a quick video here testing it out. It really doesn't feel like it's that a big difference, but uh, yeah, it, it is around two to three seconds faster, the iPhone 5, and uh, it's pretty, pretty sweet. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, when Jellybean comes out, I'll probably do another video and check it out. Yeah, you go.